Jeff Blankman joined here tonight by the Arweaver Rockets, Zach Krause and uh, Nick Lighting, or Neil Lighting, sorry, as the Nick Lighting, there we go, uh, as they pick up the 9-3 to victory here tonight uh, over Coon Rabbit's Beard. We'll start off with Zach over here to my left. Zach, uh, on the hill to start tonight, how'd you feel? I felt good starting off. I got a little tired at the end, but starting off, my pitches, I just had to get my curveball down, and things were starting to move pretty good right away at the beginning of the game. You guys got out to a one nothing lead early. How much did that give you extra confidence? Maybe it, you knew it had a little bit to work yep, with. It, anyway. It's always nice to have some cushion and getting as many runs as we can as soon as we can. That's our main goal. And that helps me as a pitcher out so much. Just that I know I walk a batter here and there. I know I got a little bit of room to spare. So. And I know you said something in the dugout that the curve wasn't quite there early. How long did it take for you to get comfortable with the curveball tonight? About the second inning, it really started coming in. I just don't think I was getting over top of the ball enough. And once I got it figured out, it just kind of let it come back natural. So. Did you ever feel like you got in trouble against them tonight? A few times. I got down right away, right away. But I didn't feel that far behind ever. So, I mean, with the, our fielders, you can never feel like you're getting in a hole because we've got a great defense behind me. So. We talk about the defensive effort tonight. I know Derek Shirky had a great sliding catch out there at short. He had the double play that got you out of a little bit of trouble there late as well. Uh, so talk about the defensive effort tonight. See, that's what we really key on is our defense. We're really proud of our defense. And when we have a defense like that, as a pitcher, you can't worry about anything. And when they're making plays like that, there's nothing. I mean, it's a great defense. I love it. As, as your arm started to get tired, what did you kind of focus in on there to, to try and get you through? Because I know you were trying to at least get through six. Yep. Um, I just At the end, I was just kind of, I wanted to get strikes. I know I was supposed to mix it up, but I was getting a little bit tired. I just needed to get it across the plate. And I knew they could hit the ball against me. It's just I tried placing it a little bit, and I was just hoping I put it in my fielder's hands at the end of the game. How would you feel at the plate tonight? At the plate, I did the first inning, first at bat, I wasn't, I don't know, I was a little slow, but I got in there and I got it figured out and I felt pretty good at, towards the end of the game. Well, I tell you what, congrats on the win tonight. I appreciate you joining us. Thank you. Let's, bat, let's move over now to Nick Lighting, who had the big hit here tonight, a uh, three-run blast over the left field fence. First career home run. I know you said you had one out to the warning track last year, but take us through that home run at bat. I think you got down 0-1 or 0-2 to start with it and talk about how you're able to battle back. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I was, what, one and two at the end of that, and I was outside pitch, which I know coach never tells me to pull it, but I did anyways, and it just worked out for me. I, I first thought it was going to be just foul ball like normal, but just when I looked back, see the umpire and waving his finger around, and I just felt great after that point. Where were you at when you realized it was gone and you were able to kind of slow down to a trot? Uh, just right before second base. I just hoping I could get around the bases real quick. Hopefully, maybe off the fence or something. Uh, I just really glad to see that. You guys were up two nothing at the time. That puts you up five to nothing. So that's a pretty important home run in this game. So uh, kind of probably couldn't have found a bigger time in your career to maybe have that. No, especially against our rival here. Uh, t- what does this win mean for you guys? This is a rivalry game. So what's this win mean for you guys? I think it's really big. It's, I know it's always a tough team to go against and. It's just another win for us, so hope we can keep going with this streak and just keep going. How'd you feel elsewhere at the plate tonight, uh, besides the home run at Ben? The first time up, I did strike out, but I was more, I guess, getting my timing down on the pitches. And, and the second time up, obviously, it proved that it worked. <laughs> and, Defensively out in right field tonight, had a few plays out there. Uh, how did you feel like uh, things went for you? I felt good. A lot of them to left field. I just know I always had to keep shading over to that left field side, but I always have to back up, like, every throw to first, so it's a long run. Yeah, I was going to say, you had a few of them that were overthrown over there that you had. It kind of got mixed up in the play with it that way. So, overall, uh, how do you feel like the season's going for you guys so far? I think it's going great. Hitting is a little bit down maybe from last year, but we can always improve there. Well, I tell you what, Nick, appreciate you joining us. Congratulations on the home run tonight. Thank you.